Hey guys, Steve here from Blossom Racing again. And today I'm gonna to do a video on removing your fix sheath from your primary post. There's a couple ways of doing it and I'll show you uh, the two ways that we do it. So one way is to get a tool like this. This is just the uh, PTO shaft of a crank that we cut off, put some flats in it. That way you can clamp it down into your vise like so and take your post and your sheave and just slide it on. And there you go, you got it holding there. So one of the ways is to buy yourself a spanner wrench like this. This one was made by Motivational Tubing. I know that uh, Todd Shaw at TRS um, uh, used to uh, make them. I don't know if he still does, um, but uh, you get one of these spanner wrenches. Uh, you build yourself a tool to hold it. Uh, taking your spanner wrench, Go right on the top of the uh, sheave like this and give her a pull. And as you see, it broke loose. Now, if these don't break loose, the trick is to just grab a torch and take, and you're going to heat up the sheave. Try not to put the heat on the post. So just take it, run around the sheave, get it good and hot and um and then it'll pop right off all right uh, basically to put them back on if you have a spanner wrench put the spanner wrench onto uh, your fixture here then you slide the post back on and then just tighten up your sheave just like that that's kind of how you put them on um we also have uh, another PTO shaft right here. This is a keyed one. Same thing, cut some flats in it. That way I can clamp it into the vise. Take your keyed one. I welded my key in there because the stupid thing always falls out. So I just tack welded the one end. And then just slide your thing on. Same way, you can use a spanner wrench. The spanner wrench, uh, this one is set for five inch, five and a half, and six inch sheaves, so it's kind of adjustable. Same thing, put it on and pull it, comes right out. Now the other way, if you don't have this spanner wrench, you do still need to go out and purchase an item. That's if you have one of the Blossom um, thick sheaves like this. If you look at our fixed sheave, it's got a hexagon uh, on the back side of it. That hexagon just happens to be a 36 millimeter. So the other trick is go out, purchase yourself a 36 millimeter socket, and then on the end of it, I don't know if you can see that in the video, you gotta take the lead off of it. So I put this in the lathe and cut a flat on it because it has a lead on it and that lead uh, would cause this to pop up and off and, and kind of screw your whole thing up so to do it with a socket and a vise put a towel in there the reason why you're putting a towel in there or the plastic jaws or something that won't mar your post all up put your post in Clamp down on it, grab yourself your breaker bar, and put that in there. Now the big question is, is this righty tighty lefty loosey? No, this is left handed thread. So turning it right will loosen it. So take note of that, put it on, put it on your sheave, and turn it right and loose it comes just like that same thing too if it if it before you try it a lot of people put uh, uh red loctite on these we don't put loctite on them anymore because they actually tighten up when you when you drive them um 
but just in case it's super mega tight, grab your uh, torch and uh, just, if you wanna heat this side of the sheave up, same thing, just run around it like that. Get it good and hot. When you got it good and hot, take your uh, 36 millimeter and put it on there and then try and break it loose. Make sure that's sitting down nice and flush and poof, pops right off. Okay, so hopefully that helps you. I've had a lot of questions about um, what are good ways to get these on and off and uh, hopefully uh, that helps you guys out. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, subscribe and like down in the bottom and uh, you guys have a great day. Take care.